Welcome back guys, this is Joe here and today we are doing a FileZilla tutorial how to get it connected up to your Minecraft server this was requested by PinkyPink20 so yeah, this is a video for you uh, sorry if I've got to be a bit quiet, it's half 2 in the morning so yeah, let's get started, so you want to download FileZilla I'll put a link in the description, nice and simple, double click on it you know, download everything, just unclick some things because you know but it's nice and safe. I've downloaded it, so you don't need to worry. But make sure you read everything while you're downloading it. So yeah, let's get started. We're gonna open it up. This is what it looks like. It normally comes like configured to like this, but I've just changed it around. You can move these around like this. Nice and simple, just have a mess about. Right then, so what you wanna do is you wanna you gotta have a like a Minecraft server so you've actually been what you've bought so somebody is hosting it for you so yeah this is my Minecraft server here as you can see all this information is blurred out because I'm protecting my IP so yeah only this bit here so anyway you want to come down to files uh, FTP access and as again I've blurred out my information because it's got my personal email and all that so now I'm going to put that onto the other screen so yeah so now you want to come over to here so you're back on FileZilla you want to come up to the top and double just click onto this little icon at the top here so as you can see as again this information is blurred out because I do uh, I do help people with their servers but anyway you want to come over down here and cr uh, make a new uh, make a new site so once you've made a new site then you can get all the information over so then we're going to call this uh, help so once you've called it something over here it's saved so you want to get the host name now as on the other side the host name is labeled so that's your IP of the server uh, it doesn't need the port don't worry about that then you need then you need a port because it's got its own custom one as uh, far as I know it's 21 so now you want to come here and just put it to normal Right, just delete these, you don't need them. Then you want to come along and paste in your stuff. So your username is your FTP username, or uh, username, and this is user here. So just like that, so that's your email, and it'll have like dot, a number, or something like that. Then you need to put your password in for the server, so hopefully that's right. Then when I press OK, then you come back over here, and you'll see Help. Come here, and now you've loaded up your server. So I hope I helped. I know it's a bit tricky, but you just got to play around. If you if you want to ask any questions or you got a bit lost somewhere, just put it down in the comment section. I'll get straight back to you. And I hope you enjoy this video, guys. And I will see you next time. Anyway, please subscribe, leave a like, and all that stuff. Share it, favoritist. Anyway, I'll see you. Bye.